Good evening, friends. Welcome to tonight's episode of the Chronicles of Dark Wolf Manor. Uncle Milton, say hello to our guests. Hello, little people and peasants. Well, ma'am, at least he looks good enough to stay awake in tonight's episode. Yes. I told him he must start acting his age. He is 762 and will be able to retire in 300 years. Indeed, ma'am. Although I was under the impression you had to have a job before you were able to retire. Yes, Cadbury. Good point. I have a job, thank you. I am from the royal family. It is my job to be a snob. Thank you. Yes, sir. And might I congratulate you on that? You do a bang-up job. Speaking of bang-up, how is Cousin Wolfington Cadbury? Oh, yes, ma'am. I ran his bathwater. He has a date tonight with a cute little poodle from down the road. That will never last once she finds what a beast he is. Speaking of beast, let's join tonight's episode where in Act 1, Scene 1, we find Aunt Alicia talking to herself. And in this family, who can blame her? Pardon me, ma'am, but if Queen Alicia is your aunt, how did you come to inherit the throne? I'm going to share something with you, and it must never leave this room. Aunt Alicia is my grandmother. Brandon Romay is my father. My father was much like his mother, and you know I had to banish father from the kingdom because of his drinking, a trait he inherited from his grandmother, Greta. A thousand pardons, my queen. I never knew this about you. Perhaps we should return to the show. little girl and she and father were still king and queen of czars. She never had any time for me. She'd always send our 
servants to take care of me. She spent all her time drunk on Zeronian rum and wine. Ironic how father now owns a winery. Huh. Speaking of which, I think I hear my father now. Good morning, father. You're up early. Yes, good morning, Alicia. You're up early too. It's only half past seven. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Did uh, you know Mother was here last night? She came in to talk to me, but she told me not to tell you. Yes, well, I, I knew because she came in here jumping on me for giving you bad habits. Fact is, that's what I'm looking for so early this morning. Uh, have you seen her or is she gone yet? Oh, I hope she's gone. Yes. Father? You and Mother didn't... Lands, no, Alicia. You know better than that. What's the matter with you? That's what she does when she wants something. Oh, not with me. Uh, Although I must admit, she's good at giving uh, a neck rub. Uh, but perhaps. that's as far as it went. Mm -hmm. oh. Anyway, Isabel told me that she and Big Mo are going to New York to find my offspring. I really, really wish you wouldn't do that. Alicia, you know I have to do that because he's a Zaronian. If the people of Earth ever found out what he is, his life would be a zoo. And if and when we leave this planet, and I plan on it, take back the kingdom which rightfully belongs to me and you and us, he'll be the heir to become the king. Alicia, I cannot leave that child here. No, father. Deep down inside, I know that you're right. You're gonna learn to love that baby someday, just like I love you. And by the way, did you <laughs> tell Greta, your mother, that she's a grandmother and you have a baby? <laughs> <laughs> no, but she'd probably faint when she found out. Oh, she'd faint. <laughs> Greta, a grandmother. God, I don't want that woman to ever have anything to do with my child. So your mother... Ah, uh, Cadbury, excuse me? Excuse me, ma'am. I meant your aunt doesn't want Greta to have anything to do with your father. Cadbury? My what? I'm sorry, ma'am. I meant your uncle. I don't have much to do with them either, but our saga must be told. Why must we watch our screwed up family? I'd rather watch Pistol Smoke. I just love Bat Dylan. Indeed, sir. Good show. I do enjoy watching the lovely Miss Giddy. What a gal! You two quit. We are watching the family, and I will not hear another word about it. Do you understand? Yes, my queen. So sorry. Yes, ma'am. As you wish. And now, we introduce another character to the show. Oh, please, ma'am. I don't think I can take another one. Or yet another Van Kempner. <sighs> Episode 7, Scene 2. Shall we watch? So tell me, Jebediah, how was it last night with you and Greta? Did the two of you, you know? No, Edmund. Why does everybody keep asking me that? <laughs> because that's what she does. Well, not with me. Uncle Jebediah, 
I would just like to say that that woman is absolutely terrifying. Mm -hmm. I am surprised that you two were even married in the first place. Me too, Derek. Jebediah. Jebediah, who is that outside? She is hugging a tree. Hugging, hugging a She's hugging a tree. I've got to see this. Oh, look. She's hugging a tree. She's hugging a tree, Jedediah. She is hugging a tree. <laughs> well, guys, I only know one person that hugs a tree. Cousin Mooney. You remember Cousin Mooney? Oh, it's been years since I thought about Cousin Mooney. It's been years since we saw her. Yeah. She's our cousin on our mother's side. Well, why does she look so odd? And why is she hugging a tree? Dear, she's a Mooney. <laughs> And what is a Mooney? Well, let's see. How can I put this into perspective? On Zars, a Mooney is the equivalent of a hippie here on Earth. Mm -hmm. Oh. Master Jebediah, have you looked outside? <clears throat> yes, Mr. Asher. Cousin Mooney, uh, hugging a tree. You remember Cousin Mooney? Yes, uh, well, I remember Cousin Mooney, a part of the family we've all tried to forget. Yes. Well, listen, go out there, tell her to stop hugging that tree before the neighbors here, and bring her in real quick. She can hug a chair or something. Very well, sir. I shall return with Cousin Mooney. Yes, thank you. Oh, Uncle, would you, would you like some more coffee? Yes, Stephanie, thank you. That's going to be a long morning. Greta last night and Cousin Mooney today. Mm -hmm. What's next? Indeed. What am I, chopped liver? Chopped liver. Sounds good for lunch. Mm. Cousin Mooney. Jebediah, she's got purple hair. Purple hair? Cousin Jebediah! How are you, Lynn? What's poppin'? Hey, what's poppin'? <laughs> Nick, poppin'. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cousin Mooney, um, how'd you find us? Well, like, Sir Edward and I have been training moonbeams. Oh, wait a minute. Sir Edward. <laughs> moonbeams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Uh -huh. And... I think he likes me. Mmm, he likes her. Sir Edward, really? Yeah. Likes you? Yeah. Oh, well, I've always said, Sir Edward doesn't have any taste. Taste? None. Taste? None. Taste? Very bad taste. Oh. Well, Cousin Edmund? I just think that you need to... Yes, dear, what do I need to do? Shut your... Zaronian... Mm -hmm. Pie hole! Really? Shut your pie hole. Oh. Yeah, that's... that's a good girl. <laughs> Moon. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Oh, hey, I, I love that hair. <laughs> Feel that hair, Edmund. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, oh. purple. It's a uh, something, isn't it? Oh, it's something. Yeah, something in it. Something. So, 
Sir Edward brings you here. Yeah, and I just love Earth too. Oh. I love this place. Oh, loves it. I love the trees. She loves the trees. The trees are the best. They're yeah, quaint. Best trees. They're not like the ones on Zars. I like the ones on Zars. Yeah, not Zars. You remember. The ones there that can hug you back, but uh -huh. sometimes they'll kill you. They can kill you. This is true. They're just too strong. The ones here are really peaceful. Yeah, earth trees are weak. Yeah, and peaceful. Yeah, if you like that. Yeah, I kind of liked them when they was hitting back, you know. I, just, I miss ours. Anyway, uh, so you're going to stay with us uh, while you're here, right, Cousin Mooney? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, right. yeah, okay. Uh, Mr. Asher. Sir. Take Cousin Mooney to the third floor. Uh, guest room across from Edmund. Uh, Chippetaya. You stay with us. Okay. Very good, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Cousin Mooney, uh, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Thanks, cousin. <laughs> oh you're welcome, Mooney. Way. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Thank you ever so much, Jebediah. Listen, somebody's got to keep an eye on her. She'll be out in the middle of the night hugging a tree. Mm -hmm. Hug this. Well, Uncle Edmund is not a happy camper at all, is he? Can you blame him, my queen? The woman does have purple hair. How crude is that? But remember, Cadbury, she is a Mooney. Yes, ma'am, she is a Mooney. I wonder how Cousin Whoopington is doing on his date. Sounds like he's doing a smash-up job, sir. Enough about Cousin Woofington's love life. We better not have any little poodles in nine weeks. Let's get on with the conclusion of the show, where we see an accident coming. This whole show has been an accident, ma'am. Well, after all, they are Van Kempners. Father, did I see Mr. Asher bringing in Cousin Mooney? Mm-hmm, yes, dear. It's, uh, <laughs> She's here to see Sir Edward and uh, hug a tree. Uh, the tree here on Earth is a lot better than a tree on Zars. That's her word. First mother and now cousin Mooney. Yes. I need to go for a walk. Calm down, baby. Oh dear, you poor girl. 
girl. You're Alicia. You are the best. Yes, yes. Your, your name is Alicia. You work for us. You cook. You clean. You park the cars. You do the dishes. And you do all of the housework. Basically, you are our servant. Oh. Well, thank you for, for bringing me in. Absolutely. Uh, am I a good person? Uh, oh, you are just the best girl in the whole world and everybody loves you and you love everyone else. Oh, everyone, too. I'm so glad that I'm so nice. Of course. Now, the kitchen is down the hall to the right. Please bring us a couple of cups of iced tea. Oh, oh yes, ma'am. Right away. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I found this in the cupboard. Oh, Where's your tea, ma'am? Of course. Thanks, sir. <laughs> yes, that apron looks lovely on you. Yes. I insist that you keep wearing it yes, as your please. new uniform. Please do. Now, please go to the drawing room and sweep. We are expecting some company tonight. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm so glad I work for such nice people. feel like such a heel. <laughs> Not me. I am loving it every minute of this. Later on this evening, I'm going to have her massage my feet. Stephanie Von Kempter, you are awful! And I love it. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sinclair. Excuse me, sir. William said that you need to see me? Yes. If you would, I'm going to send uh, Mr. Asher to Hamburg. I need you to drive him to the airport. I'd be happy to, sir. Thank you. And sir? Yes. When I came in, did I see Alicia sweeping? Alicia sweeping? Bless your heart, Alicia. <laughs> I'm next. That Stephanie is quite the little dauber. She has your aunt rubbing her feet. I say, Stephanie, good show. Yes, and we see another character leave for Hamburg. Don't miss next week's episode where Greta returns to the manor. Until then, say good night, Uncle Milton. Good night, Uncle Milton. Say good night, Cadbury. Good night, all. See you next week. Say good night, Cousin Wolfington.